So what is the best weapon in Bullet Echo? Your first thought might be Freddy's weapon or Satoshi's weapon because of their extremely high damage, but let's take a deeper look. There are a lot of aspects that go into deciding which weapon is best. Each weapon has its unique range, ammo capacity, bullet spread, reload time, aim time, damage, and fire rate. Starting off with Smog's weapon, which is arguably the worst weapon in the game, its main problem is it has the lowest damage stat of any weapon in the game, and for whatever reason the bullets don't shoot perfectly straight, so you end up missing some of your shots. D tier. Angel's weapon. So you might think that I'd put this one high up on the list, but if you actually look at the weapon, it doesn't actually have that great of stats. The main thing that makes Angel good is actually her abilities. So I'm going to give this a B tier. Sparkle's Double Barreled Shotgun. This weapon has really good damage and can two shot all the heroes in the game except for the healthiest of tanks. One of the main issues it has is if you're not dead on center of your target you're going to end up missing a bunch of your BBs which will reduce your chances of being able to take that hero out in two shots. A tier. Mirage's Weapon. This is just such a good weapon because it has no drawbacks really. You have good range with it, good damage. You don't hardly ever have to reload because it has like 13 ammo capacity. There's no aiming time. And because it's just such a thin sliver, you hardly ever miss your shots. S tier, Leviathan's weapon. This is a really unique weapon because you continue to shoot even after someone has passed through your red firing cone. My biggest problem with this weapon is the time it takes for it to aim, and when it's not aiming, it has such a wide firing cone that you don't do enough damage. I'm gonna give this a C tier. Doc's weapon. This weapon's kinda like Smog's in the same way that it shoots to the right side. It is a lot better than Smog's weapon though because it has more zoom and more range, so I would have to give it a C tier. Lot's weapon. You are able to one shot a lot of the heroes in the game with this, but for me at least it has such a wide firing cone that it seems like I always get unlucky and it veers off to the left or to the right. So for that reason I'm going to give that a B tier, but I am going to also add in it could be up to an A if you're a good blot player, but I'm not. Hurricane's weapon is okay, it just doesn't do as much as you'd like it to. It has good attack rate, but its bullet spread means that most of your shots aren't going to hit, which is not all that good, so I think I'm just going to give him a C tier. Arnie's weapon does do pretty good damage, but you have to be right on top of someone for all of your BBs to hit. The attack rate on the weapon isn't super fast, and the fact that he only has 5 shots in a magazine I'm gonna give it a B tier. Bastion's weapon. This weapon does have very high damage, especially if you can get up close to someone and have all those shots hitting them. Its range is a little bit too short for me to give it a S tier, but that is definitely an A tier. Levy's weapon. This weapon can definitely do some pretty good work because of its fast attack speed, good damage, and good range. The only real drawback is there's only 15 shots without enhanced magazines, so you definitely can run out relatively quickly, so I'm going to give this an A tier. Freddy's weapon is just so good because he has such a high ammo capacity, and when you match that with his incredible attack speed and damage, he can just completely mow down a team with one magazine, which immediately goes into S tier. Ghost weapon is pretty similar to Freddy's, it's just not as good because it's a lot smaller ammo capacity, the damage is slightly higher, but the attack speed is quite a bit lower. And if you've ever tried using Ghost without the ability, it's actually not all that great of a weapon, so I'm just going to give this a B tier. Arnie's weapon is pretty decent, the only problem I have with it is it takes quite a while to aim down your sights, and it's just really short range when you're not zoomed in, so I'm going to give it a B tier. Firefly's weapon is decent, it does have a little bit more damage than Mirage's, however there's the aiming time and even when you are aimed in, you still have a chance of missing because the firing cone is a little bit big. B tier. I've been trying to think if Dragoon's weapon belongs in an A tier or an S tier. It does do a ton of damage and it does have pretty decent range, along with the fact that there's no aiming time. I'm going to have to go with the top of A tier. Raven's weapon is definitely pretty good, mainly because of its high range, and he also does have pretty good damage, so you're able to one clip most of the heroes in the game, but if you miss too many shots, you're not going to be able to take out those beefier heroes. A tier. Slayer can one shot any hero in the game. His main problem is that if you miss a shot or you get rushed by multiple people, because he has such a slow fire rate, it takes like 4 or 5 seconds to get another shot in the chamber, 
you can get rushed pretty easy. I think I'm going to give him an A tier. Stalker's weapon is definitely very well rounded. Its damage isn't the highest, but it has pretty decent range, pretty decent ammo capacity, and you're always aiming down the sights so there's no need to stop and wait before you can shoot. B tier. Bertha's weapon is pretty decent. This definitely would go a lot higher if we were including the suppression ability, but this is just the weapon alone. It has really good range for a light machine gun, so great for peeking around the corners. Aim time's a little bit long, but I'm just going to give it a B tier. And then we have Lynx's bow, it just came out. And from what I've played of it so far, it seems to be a really good weapon, which is able to one-shot quite a few heroes. And it has two firing modes, one with more damage, and more range and another one with more attack speed and less damage so right now i think that this is actually an s tier weapon but we will see how i feel after i play with her more and last but not least we have satoshi's weapon this weapon is just so bonkers because of the amount of damage it does you're able to like five shot basically any hero in the game and it's a full auto weapon that and it has good range and decent ammo capacity i'm definitely putting this one in s tier